hello everyone find all the solutions of x in this problem so we have x over 4 into x over 4 equals 4 over x into 4 over x so here we find all the solutions of x so the very first step we are going to do is here first we multiply numerator of numerator with denominator of denominator so we have x times of x becomes x square and 4 times of 4 becomes 4 square Similarly, here we multiply these two terms and we have 4 times 4 is 4 square, x times of x becomes x square. So now in the next step, here we need to cross multiply the terms. Uh, so here we multiply this x square by this term and this 4 square by this term and it is written as x square into x square equals to 4 square into 4 square. So here we know that uh, about a very nice uh, exponential line which we have if the basis of these two terms are same then we add the exponents of their terms. So the exponents are 2 and 2 so we write it as 4 similarly here you have mm, the basis are same we add its exponents so its exponents are 2 plus 2 becomes 4. So now we move this 4 to the power of 4 in the left hand side and it is written as x to the power of 4 minus 4 to the power of 4 equals to 0. So now here we solve this equation, this fourth order equation. So uh, it means that this equation has four roots or four solutions. So now we find all that four solutions. So here first we rewrite this equation as this is x to the power of 4. We write it as x square and its whole square we write this 4 as a 4 square and its whole square equals to 0 and now here we need uh, the nice square identity and we know about this identity if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so this is uh, the square identity which we can apply in the above equation so our above equation after applying this identity is written as x square minus 4 into x square plus 4 equals to 0. So further in the next step here we uh, need to divide uh, two cases in order to solve this equation so that uh, here our first case is we write x square minus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 4 equals to 0. So in this case here uh, we write this 4 as x square minus 2 square equals to 0 and now here we again apply this nice formula to this term. So uh, this is written as x minus 2 times of x plus 2 equals to 0. So here we divide again to both cases. So first case is we take x minus 2 0 and the second case is we take x plus 2 equals to 0. So in this case we get the value of x equals to 2. So this is the our first root of the given equation. In that case we move this plus 2 to the right hand side and we get x equals to minus 2. Okay. So here we get uh, two roots of the given equation. So now we solve this equation and here we again get the other two roots from here. Okay. So uh, now we uh, rewrite this equation as x square minus uh, iota and we write this 4 as 2 square equals to 0 okay so here you see that uh, we use the concept of iota square you know that iota square equals to minus 1 and now first we uh, write this plus as minus times of minus and then we substitute this minus by iota square and we combine this 2 4 by 2 square and we combine iota and 2 square and we write this in this form okay so here we again use this nice formula in this equation so we write this expression as x minus 2 iota into x plus 2 iota and this is equals to 0. And now in the next step here we again divide this into the two cases. So the first case is we take x minus 2 iota equals to 0 and the second case is we take x plus 2 iota equals to 0. So from here we get the value of x equals to 2 iota. And similarly, from here, we get the value of x equals to minus 2 iota. Okay, so these are the uh, four roots of the given equation. Because of, uh, the order of our given equation is 4, so these are the final four solutions of the given equation. 
And now in the next step, uh, here we need to verify these four solutions is uh, or we check that how the how much of these solutions are satisfied the given equation. So that now first we copy down our given question statement here and our question statement is x over 4 into x over 4 equals to 4 over x into 4 over x. So this is the our given question statement and now we check our uh, four roots here okay. So that uh, first we substitute x equals to 2. So when you substitute x equals to 2 on both of the sides, it is written as 2 over 4 into 2 over 4 equals to 4 over 2 into 4 over 2. Okay, so here you see that this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and you have 4 over 4 into 4. So uh, in the right hand side we have this is 2 times of 2 is 4 and this is 2 times of 2 is 4. So this 4 is cancelled out by this 4. And here we obtain 1 over 4 equals to 2 times of 2 becomes 4. So you see that 1 over 4 is not equals to 4. So this means that uh, the value of uh, x equals to 2 is not satisfied the given question statement. So it means that x equals to 2 is not the solution but it is the extraneous root. So here we write that it is extraneous root okay so now we move towards our uh, second value of uh, x so that uh, the second value of x is x equals to minus 2 so now we substitute x equals to minus 2 on the given equation on both of the sides and it is written as minus 2 over 4 minus 2 over 4 equals to 4 over minus 2 into 4 over minus 2 so now you again see that uh, uh, this is minus 2 over 4 and minus 2 over 4 becomes here 4 over 4 into 4 and this is uh, this will be written as 4 multiplied by 4 over minus 2 times of 2 is 4 so these are cancelled by each other so again you get 1 over 4 equals to 1 over 4 so this shows that x equals to minus 2 is also not satisfied the given equation now we check the behavior of uh, given equation at x equals to 2 iota so when you substitute x equals to 2 iota in the given equation on both of the sides it is written as 2 iota over 4 multiplied by 2 iota over 4 equals to 4 over 2 iota into 4 over 2 iota so you see that 2 times of 2 becomes 4 iota multiplied by iota iota square so this is 4 times of 4 in the right hand side we have 4 times of 4 divided by 4 into iota times of iota iota square. This 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we know that iota square equals to minus 1 over 4. So this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and iota square equals to minus 1. So it is equals to minus 4. So this again show that both sides are not equal. So uh, we say that x equals to 2 iota uh, not root of given equation okay so now we move towards our fourth root and our fourth root is x equals to minus 2 iota so now we check this root so when you substitute this root uh, on both of the sides of the given equation it is written as minus 2 iota over 4 into minus 2 iota over 4 equals to 4 over minus 2 iota 4 over minus 2 iota so this implies that we have 2 minus 2 times of minus 2 is 4 into iota square and 4 into 4 equals 2. Uh, this is 4 times of 4 into minus 2 minus 2 is 4 into iota square. This is cancelled out by this. This is cancelled out by this. And we get iota square is minus 1 over 4 equals to 4 over minus 1. So again you see that both of the sides are not equal. So uh, x equals to minus 2 again the not solution of the given equation it means that uh, the given equation has no solution okay the given equation has no root or no solution all the roots of the given equation are called extraneous root and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos